Hey guys, I'm Jennifer Bell, and I hope that you're all having a fantastic weekend. So I just wanted to do a quick video about the differences between how you can feel safe on safety features on DoorDash versus Instacart. Now I realize those are two totally separate platforms. You know, one is more geared towards meal deliveries. The other is geared more towards groceries, but a lot of people like to interchange them. They will deliver one while they're waiting for orders to pick up on another one. And they're what, I, they're what I'm familiar with. So, you know, I just want to update as much as I can when I learn things and hopefully it will help you. So now with DoorDash, because of all the assault on delivery drivers on various platforms, they have start, they're going to be implementing a new feature where it's basically like an OnStar, where it's a call button, uh, a help button in case you're feeling unsafe you're not feeling comfortable com continuing on with your order. And I just think that's really great because, you know, we're out here, we're delivering, and we just want to feel safe. No matter whether we're male, female, what age we are, what neighborhood we're in, safety should always be first. And so it's just good to know that they are starting to do a little bit more to help protect us, you know, because a lot of times we could be out going to new neighborhoods, going to new areas. Sometimes the order can take us out of our zone and we're not used to it. And so it can kind of create a little anxiety about what to expect. But having this there is a great opportunity just to kind of relieve some of that anxiety. Now with Instacart, they have like two features basically. The first one is that you can report a customer or report well, I know they have a customer. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that you should be able to report if the merchant is kind of acting aggressive or acting very, um, just very, um, well, I guess aggressive. But you can report a customer if they are giving you a hard time, if they're acting very, uh, very crazy, you're worried about if they're going to hurt you or if they're trying to keep you there for some reason. And there's another one where you don't have to continue delivering. If you feel unsafe, you could just call the little get help and let them know what's going on. You can completely stop delivery and that's that until you figure out what's going on, what the next steps are. And then another thing I just like to mention in there and add is that we are not required to go in customers' homes. It has it and I'm going to show a screenshot of that, what it looks like so that you can see I didn't make it up. Actually, I'm going to show screenshots of everything so that you can see. I didn't just make it up. I'm not just trying to share whatever information just to have something to say. <laughs> These are actual guidelines that we can follow, recommendations and things that we can do in order to move forward during delivery. We are not required to go on in any part of your house, whether it's your porch. I mean, if it's an open porch, of course, but if it's like an enclosed porch, that's still indoors. So we're not required to do anything that's any kind of indoors. Um, just because we don't know, like if we're, even if we're just putting it inside, you know, that's a good way you're already kind of at a disadvantage because it's much easier to push you in than when you're standing upright, like outside where people can see you and you're kind of more out in the open. But, you know, it's just, it's really just for safety for us because we don't know the customers, we don't know what's going on, we don't know what kind of people they are. And as we know, a lot of times in the news, you will hear about neighbors of people saying they never thought that they would be capable of that. Like they didn't seem like those type of people. And so that's something we got to keep in the back of our minds while we deliver is that we don't know the customers. We don't know what their plans are. You know, a lot of people have been ambushed. And so that's just something we got to worry about. So please, um, you know, just keep this in mind when you're giving reviews, when you're uh, coming into contact with your delivery driver is that they are not required to. If they do, then that's at their discretion, but it's not required. And I personally, I don't feel like that should affect the rating because that's our safety wise. You're, you know, that's basically saying that what you want is more important than our safety. You know, and I realize for people that are disabled, my husband's disabled, it could put it at a huge disadvantage if there's no one else there to help them take it in. But there's things that can be done to help mitigate that so that you can still get your things in. Like there's grabbers, if you're able to get a grabber, if you are able to call a neighbor that you trust, have it right there outside your door where it's easy to grab or like on your door handle. Even if you wanted to, if you have like another door that can stay shut and then you have like a screen door and then you can hang it on the door handle, 
then that way it still makes it safe for you where you can just open up your door and grab it once you know that the delivery driver is gone but you know there's always the option that we can you know that can be taken just to make sure that there's no altercations there's no bad feelings you're getting what you want and then the delivery driver is not getting um they're not basically being punished for just caring about their safety and it doesn't have anything to do with you as a customer you know like i said we don't know you you i've met so many amazing customers that i probably normally wouldn't mind you know i would i would come in their house because honestly like i peep at people's houses when I come in and I love looking like I love looking at decorations and stuff like that that's just my thing because it always gives me ideas <laughs> but it's just safety wise I've had things happen in my past and I've basically been ambushed twice and so I just don't feel comfortable with that like I said it doesn't have anything to do with the customers it's just a fear in our head and we are allowed to we are allowed to just put it outside the on your porch outside your door you know and this is basically just to help the delivery go more smooth so that, you know, because sometimes it could look like they're just doing whatever they want and it's not that. You know, they could send you a message, but obviously if you haven't read it in time, then, you know, if they close it out really right away, then they can't even message you back. They can't see that you've seen it. You know, if it's no contact, then they obviously don't want to knock on your door. Um, and so, yeah. That's another thing is just like always check your messages from the delivery drivers. Even if you know that you picked up your order, the order is done, just check them because sometimes they could have sent you a message that was explained to them why they didn't bring it in your house. Um, you know, it's just all around. It's just a safety wise and it's just to help everybody. But it, I mean, it obviously is mainly to help the drivers because Instacart cares about our safety. So, you know, just keep this in mind when you're doing your order. Like I said, Do DoorDash is doing a basically like OnStar type thing and Instacart has a few options that you can do as well. Personally, I really prefer Instacart's better because they have more options. Um, and like I said, it just, it's nice that we don't have to go on the port. Oh, not on the porch inside their house in, in an enclosed porch inside their house whatever um i personally like that better it's already been a part of their platform but i do appreciate that doordash is starting to do that now because that matters you know like i said safety should always be a priority for anybody who's doing a service for someone else no matter what kind of service it is um but i hope that this helped you you know, if you need to go back and look at anything, if you need to go back and see the screenshots, go ahead and do that. If you like this video, if you found some value in it, hit the like button, hit the bell, uh, <clears throat> hit subscribe. If you'd like to see more content in the bell so that you can get all future notifications, I'm stuttering. Just in case you'd like to see everything I have. Um, you know, it's great to know that I'm helping people, even if it's little small tidbits, you know, here and there. I just want to be able to help people decide what they like to do. You know, if you have anxiety um, like me <clears throat> and PTSS, it's good to know that those that those are part of the platforms because, and like I said, it helps keep the stress down, keeps the anxiety down, and it just makes us feel like we're cared about. And that's so important is to feel like they're listening to us, they care about us. Obviously, customers are important, you know, because they're what you know they're a, such a big huge part of a business if you don't have customers and you don't have people working for you, you don't have a business but then again if you don't have if if people aren't feeling safe enough to want to do the job then there's nobody to deliver the food and then there's no business either so you know i hope that this helped you like i said if you have any questions if you have any comments comment below hit the bell hit like and subscribe i would appreciate it so much um you know and i'll see you guys all next time